Hi, my name is Paul. People know me as Dr. Paul, if you're one of my patients. I'm in my 50s, I'm a pediatrician. Basically at the request of one of my sons who says, Dad, you need to just be a real person. Because I do educational videos, I'm teaching all the time in my practice, and this is a channel to just be real, be human, and bring to you whatever comes to my mind. So I thought I'd start off by telling you a little bit about myself. I'm first of all a son. I was blessed with two parents who loved me unconditionally. And I hope you have a similar experience, but if you don't, maybe you can create that experience for your own children. I grew up in Southern Africa. I was born in Portland, Oregon and grew up in Zimbabwe. It used to be Rhodesia when I was there. And I had just an unbelievable childhood. Running in a village for three years, taught in Shona, the African language in Zimbabwe, and just a carefree, wonderful childhood. You're running in the woods, well, the savanna. We didn't really have woods. Um, and I'll share more about some of my childhood. I ended up finishing high school in Southern Africa. I went to Swaziland, Waterford Kamplaba, which was a wonderful experience because our school was about one third African, one third mixed races, and one third white. I had a truly blended experience of intercultural, interracial, uh, just a melting pot of various ideas. Went to school with Nelson Mandela's children. Uh, of course, at the time he was in prison and uh, I did not know that he would someday be a great leader in the world. And basically go from being a child to the journey of becoming a doctor. So I was blessed with parents who instilled in me that desire to help others. And honestly, regardless of your calling in life, I think those of you who have lived a little probably have learned that as we give, so we receive. And there's just blessing in that. So as a kid in high school, I remember thinking, I can't be a minister. My father was a minister and then a professor at a theological college. You know, I discovered girls as a teenager and uh, alcohol once in a while. I was lucky. I was up on a mountain in Africa, no access to drugs or alcohol, so that was fortunate for this guy. But I kind of thought, no, I can't be a person of the cloth, clergy. It would be hypocritical because of the thoughts that were going through my head as an adolescent. I'm a little older and wiser, and of course, I probably could have been. Fast forward a bit. But anyway, at that time, I decided to pursue medicine. Ended up as a doctor, graduated from Dartmouth Medical School. The college years, there'll be more tapes on that or, or videos on that because uh, I learned some lessons during that time. But suffice it to say, one real lesson I learned, so it took me 10 years, if you take graduation from high school to graduation from medical school, that 10 year journey was tough. And it was like everything I had to get through it. I held very high in my esteem and my goal was to become a doctor and gave it everything I had, which was good. However, during that entire 10 years, I basically lost myself because I was totally focused on the destination. And I've only learned way later in life that you've got to enjoy the journey. Because I remember graduating and I held that paper up, you know, here you are, Dr. Paul Thomas, and felt like, that's it? Really? It, it felt empty and I'm grateful now to have learned that lesson that you enjoy every step of the journey because life is a journey. Sorry to throw in that little tidbit but I guess that was the wisdom point for the day. I have since gone on to be a father. I have nine or ten children. I always joke about that. We have three biological children, six adopted and one child we sponsored to go to college here in the United States. And uh, so a truly uh, colorful blended family being a parent, being a father has just been one of the most wonderful parts of my journey of life. And of course, I'm a husband, which I've been very blessed to be married over 20 years to a woman who adores and loves me. And so if you have that in your life, you are truly blessed also. Uh, loved ones, family, friends, people who really cherish and nurture us, love us, and we can love them back. That's a very special thing in life. And then I'm a doctor, which is a huge part of my existence at this point, but I love it. The, the world of medicine is 
basically endless in terms of the explosion of knowledge. Uh, I've rambled on way too long for an intro video, but as um, a welcoming introduction, I just wanted to give you a little piece of my background and we'll weave in a lot more through upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.